Hey, good morning, everyone. I guess it would help if I put my microphone down here. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another Thursday morning and an episode of Ken versus 10. I am Ken. What's going on here? I'm getting an echo. Oh, there we go. I had the I had the YouTube. Man, it was just like my first day. It's my first day broadcasting or something. I still had my like YouTube window open. <sighs> so it was feeding back in my in my ear. Anyway, okay. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Thursday morning. Here I am. First in the gate. Patrick Murphy sneaking in as remote Patrick, just to say hi and light up that thumbs up. Yes, if you're coming in, take a second, hit that thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Josh is here. Good morning, all. Bama Jaybird Resell is here. I need to adjust these ones. Man, again, you'd think this is like my first day. My dear sweet mother is here. My mom and pop watching next door. Mike Go Go Snow is here. What's up, Ken? Not late today. You are on time. You were almost beat me for the most part. And Corey, Grams and Pops. Good morning, everyone. And Shanna is here. Morning, Ken and chat. Oh, man. It is Thursday. I'll throw this, probably throw this out a few times here. Um, I am going to change up. The day that I do the show, because we are getting into yard sale season, uh, some yard sales are trickling in, but usually starting in the 1st of April around my area, Thursday is a really good day for yard selling. So I am going to uh, change the show. I'm going to move it back one day. It will be Wednesdays and up one hour. So backing up, backing up. Um, or wait, I'm not backing up. Yeah, I'm backing up one day to Wednesday, but I am moving the show to 12, 12 o'clock noon Eastern time. And Amanda is here. Good morning. Good morning, Amanda. A uh, lot of changes in the background today. Well, you know, I got my, I got some Eastery stuff going on back here because Sunday is Easter. Oh, wait, can't see. There's a mini, a mini mouse. Easter Bunny plush. Is it Minnie or Mickey? It's Minnie. It's Minnie Mouse. And my uh, my campaign sign, Demand Promo 2024, Dan in Demand. And I, somebody had suggested Dan run for president because, you know, Dan's, he's the most popular reseller out there according to the recent Reseller Madness um, draft or reseller around this poll draft whatever they had going on there on the nashville flippers channel and uh, oh look at this cool new nashville flip nashville y'all nashville flipper sticker that i got the other day and uh so yeah someone suggested dan and i just threw my hat in the ring as his running mate he don't he don't even know i'd say you know campaign manager running mate whatever but Man, there's a ticket right there. Dana Demand SSK promo on the same ticket. Uh, Kim T is here. I got to hang out with Kim T yesterday. Actually, there's a really cool sign right here. It's like a lighted, it says the bar is open. I don't know if you can read it. It has a clock right there. I picked up, Kim is an aspiring reseller. And I went over to, to help her kind of take a look at stuff that she has and 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 recommend some different uh strategies or whatever that she could do to help uh get get organized and get stuff going so uh, hopefully and i picked up a few things from her as well including that cool clock right there that's something i'm probably going to be listing later today i'm not listing anything on the show today i'm gonna say good morning to sue though sue is here good morning good morning oh yes it was shanna it was shanna hashtag demand promo that's right it was shanna that recommended that we that dan run for president um 
I'm getting a no, 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 Kim. So one of the options that we had for Kim's uh, vast amount of inventory, building after building after building of of stuff. One of her options was kerosene and a match to get rid of it all. It's like, no, 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 no. Don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, man, how can I be in this administration cabinet? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, if if elected, we'll be appointing uh, cabinet members. And uh, definitely, Patrick, your, your hat is in the ring as well. The... Uh, Man, an all reseller ticket on the ballot. That's so cool, man. Now my head's... Now I might just sit here and ponder for a second. Yeah, yeah. Man, all kinds of ideas flowing. Christine Harden is here. Good morning, Christine. How are you today? Corey, is Team Dan all the way, but if he sanctions China and then apologizes, I'm retracting my vote. <laughs> The last thing we are here is a political show here at Ken versus 10. That's funny stuff. I need to send out uh I need to send out a few offers here real quick or did I already do that? Man, I'm just my screens are all my screens are all goofy here. Uh Oh, there we go. I got about a half a dozen things that are watchers on them i guess i think i have my screen to okay there we go now it looks normal send offers i know you guys can't see any of this but who knows maybe something will sell during the during the show here 20 percent offers on these items there's a pair of shoes some uh pls steel toed safety shoes uh our generation doll cincinnati reds pinstripe uh shirt is cool hey what Okay, that wasn't set up at all. If you just heard that cha-ching, I did just sell something, I think. Oh, I did. Cool. It was some... Ooh, that's a nice sale. I'll show you here real quick. Well, it's probably kind of hard to see, but they are ashtrays. Uh, clear glass ashtrays. Uh, five inch round and Jill uh, somehow had had like a whole case of these things and I have them listed for a lot of three of them as you can see in the picture there's three of them right there and at like 10 bucks 10 bucks for a lot of three plus the shipping and this buyer bought three lots of them so that's one of those items okay it's been it's been listed for quite a while and it uh and with no love on them and i did recently as i was going through some of my stuff working on my shipping policies and things i um what did i do oh i noticed that i had the shipping like i needed to adjust the shipping for multiple orders because it was way too expensive it was basically they were paying the same shipping if they were going to buy multiple orders so i reduced the shipping way down on multiple orders i added some um uh, added some like if you bought multiple items that you get a reduction in price and that um uh and and i sold a lot of three of them last week and there's just three lots right here uh what did i miss not a thing jill me just being disorganized and uh and getting Getting going. See, what Tony Orlando and Dawn song would make a good walkout song? Uh, you know, knock three times on the ceiling if you want me. You know, if you want me, knock three times. I can't reach the ceiling right there. Twice on the pipe, though, if the answer is no. If you're going with one of the other candidates in the race, you know, hit that pipe twice. Um... And Christine is watching you and also watching two old guys. Love those guys. Yes. Caleb and Josh. Two guys. Bama Jaybird is here in the chat. Um, so, yeah. I always check out their episodes. Usually on comes out in the morning when I'm getting ready for the show. So, I watch it later in the afternoon when I'm actually getting some work done. And, um, 
Yeah, see, right here, Knock Three Times is on my greatest hits of Tony Orlando and Don album. That's the best find of the new yard sailing season that I have found so far. Get that shadow off there or that glare. Tony Orlando and Don, man, I can't say enough. I can't say enough. Um, I want to be part of the food administration beside, despite our clear disagreement on mac and cheese and shells and cheese. Our differences will bring people together and heal the divide. Hashtag meal motivated. You know what? There, I, I agree, Patrick. You are, you will be appointed the food administrator in the demand promo ticket. Uh, <laughs> I, I am going to review. Uh, I was going to do another mac and cheese review today, but I, I had just done one last week, and I like to spread it out. But I am going to be doing one that was suggested by Alicia, the inked picker, uh, that I tried. Pretty good stuff. You might be surprised with the the results on this one. Um, Larry is here. Good morning, Larry. Way out one. Hi, Jill, Judy, and Corey. Um. What are those? Are those little? Oh, those are. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so anyway, on the show, I wasn't. Uh, I've been getting some stuff ready. I'm going to talk about talk about that here. Uh, my first whatnot show coming up tomorrow evening. Um, and I, I have this. That's boom. If you go to whatnot, I'm going to put the link in there on this too. I might pin it in the chat. But Jill and I are going to be doing a whatnot show tomorrow night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday the 29th. Um, let's see here. If I can... If I can put that in there, then am I able to... Man, I hate the... That little heart thing on the side, it won't ever let me get to the three little dots until somebody else somebody else comment somebody else put some somebody else put something in the chat so that that will move up and i see jill threw a link out there as well to the to the show oh well i can't i can't seem to do it there it is dang dots i know right cuz i think i need the dots to be able to pin message there we go. If you are so inclined, if you do follow whatnot, um, hit that link and uh, hit that little bookmark thing. Follow me, Jill and I. We've been we've been talking, we've been prepping, we've been having fun, uh, getting ready. It should should be a fun show. We're going to to check it out and see what happens. And uh, the real life perspective show is in the house with the dang dots. The dang dots. Good morning. Good morning. So, I've been getting ready for the Whatnot show, and uh, like I said, I went over to Kim T's house yesterday to kind of look at stuff, so I didn't get anything prepped for the show today, and I thought, what do people really want to know in the reselling community, in the, in, in the community? And they want to know about me. They want to know about Ken, SSK promo, the DOG, Mr. Bill, and so I thought that I would have a Ask Me Anything show. Question and answer, Q&A um, about Ken or whatever you want. If you have questions about reselling, I'll try to help answer those questions. Buckeye Chuck said that spring will arrive in South Dakota eventually in July and in Ohio in September. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly right. It was cold. The ground was all crunchy this morning. Crispy and crunchy. Frosty out there this morning. Good morning, Roman. Good to see you here. It is supposed to warm up a little bit, maybe around 50. Um, but yeah, that'd be interesting if South Dakota got their summer before we did. Um, and Keith is here. Vintage Sports Slips. Good to see you, Keith. Diet Coke Draft in the house. Coke Zero. Coke Zero guy right here. So, um, if anybody has any questions at all, if not, I'm just going to ramble aimlessly about stuff for the next, 
oh, how, uh, you know, the next 45 minutes or, or so. It is so cold in Cleveland that geese don't want to mate anymore. Well, it, that might not be a bad thing. We get a lot of geese around here. Uh, Jill does in her area as well. It's, they stop traffic. There's so many of them like crossing the main, the main road there, right? Kind of outside of her, her street. Um, don't I already do that? Just ramble on for an hour. <laughs> Pretty much, Ray. Good morning, Ray. Hey, I was showing there your cool sticker, Nashville, y'all. And uh, I'm super excited. I saw uh, Ray's uh, This Week in Reselling podcast come out this morning as well, as well as the two old guys. Uh, but Ray has on, I'm, you know, I talked about, I'm getting into whatnot. That link for my first show is pinned there at the top. And uh, he had on a couple of great uh, whatnot uh, sellers. Uh, the two Terrys. Two Terrys, double the Terrys, double the fun. Evolving Farmhouse and Noonie Bird are on this week's episode. And they are they are great whatnot sellers. And I'm looking forward to checking that uh, checking that episode out. And um, so, yeah, that'll be super cool. Um, let's see. What did Jill say? Roman, I couldn't le even leave my office the other night. The geese uh, were pooping on the outside of my door. Yeah, there's, there's just tons. So, yeah, and... Uh, Tonight, today is a raid train on whatnot for Ray Nashville Flippers, uh, Angie Resells. I think Joe, I'd flip that. Kristen, a rural squirrel, a number of people on a raid train. So go hit up and follow those people and get notifications. Uh, gonna be like 80 this weekend in Bama. I feel like you're just rubbing it in, Josh, really. I mean, with a comment like that, it's, I, you know. That's tomorrow, right, Ken? Yes, my show is tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, gosh, I love them both. Jill, geese are in a uh, state of shock in Cleveland. It's so cold they didn't have strength to fly back to Florida. Man, I wish I were in Florida. Um, and the YouTube, uh, that is the... Is that the the Nashville Flippers episode of of uh, with the two Terrys evolving farmhouse? Um, so anyway, uh, it is it is a live selling stream. I did a private stream here last week. Uh, had a few folks just invited a, a couple of folks in. Uh, Jill, uh, Corey was there. Ray was there. Um, my cousin Susan was there, and um, who Coco and Chewy. Coco was there. Coco was a great help uh, with Ray. I had questions. I was just trying to figure out the format of how to run how to run an actual show, and it was uh, pretty cool. Uh it was, I, you know, I think I'll be able to handle it. There'll be some stumbling blocks. And and I have uh, realistic expectations about my, about what not and doing it. I'm doing it a lot for fun. And if I can make a few extra bucks, uh, that will be cool. 22 degrees here today. I think Ohio might see summer first. Maybe so. We're supposed to get around 50 today. Like I said, the ground was all frosty crunchy this morning. Um yeah, Ray was rocking the cowboy hat on that show too. Nashville meetup. Oh, I took my sign down because I have my my demand, Dana demand, SSK promo sign there. But normally I have hanging out back there. Nashville 2020 reseller meetup, April 26th through the 28th. It's Nashville's newest tradition. I can't confirm that, but it says it on the sign, so it has to be true. And I'm super looking forward to to that. Um, doing a crawfish boil for Good Friday tomorrow. Can't wait for the deliciousness. What's everyone's plans for Easter weekend? That's a super good question. Um, 
the uh man a, cra a crawfish boil i've never had crawfish but anything that's a seafood boil i'm into that uh uh literally my life closet by noonie yeah jill buys a lot of stuff from from noonie from from both of the terry's and from ray and from paul philly flipper and jen's multiverse all of these folks have been helpful to me so far in uh, answering questions i do have a couple more questions ray if you had some time this afternoon or something later on hit me up i got a couple quick questions about stuff um but if you have any questions about me, about Ken, just ask him. I'll answer him. Uh, if he could rock a cowboy hat every day, that he would. It looked pretty good on the on the uh, on the show, anyway. Because I clicked on it real quick this morning when it came on, just to see um, the the guests and see what was going on. I I watched like I got, probably watched enough to give you the view count, Ray. You know the thirty seconds one, probably probably two three minutes that I watched, um, and uh, Ray always has time for for Mister Bill. Okay, I'm cooking Southern style for about twenty family members. We are hosting Sunday after church. That is cool. What uh, Southern style? So what is Josh? What is Southern style? What is the Easter meal Southern style? Uh, doing it wrong. Morning, Ken and everybody. Good to have you here. Josh is going to pass on the geese. Um, his Stetson. Uh, still looking for a couple more Jemmy reindeer caps with LED antlers. If anybody has a Jemmy reindeer cap with LED antlers, hit up Razilla's Realm. Good to see you here, my friend. Um, oh, I should have on, I should, here, what am I doing for Easter? Well, actually this afternoon, right after the show, I'm going next door over to my folks house and, uh, my mom and my aunt Sandy are come, is coming over and we're going to color Easter eggs, kind of like a tradition. I, I still enjoy coloring Easter eggs. And so we're going to be doing that uh, this afternoon. I'll, I'll actually, I'll post a picture of them on Instagram uh, once we're done. That should be, it's always fun. Um, yes, Corey is going to his kid's house for ham dinner. Yes, ham, scalloped potatoes, Betty Crocker scalloped potatoes, of course. We don't want any of this homemade stuff. Um, usually like the green bean casserole, like the corn casserole stuff. It's almost like the Christmas, the Christmas meal, but it is, um, but it's Easter, you know, one more, I could eat, I could eat ham, scalp potatoes, like all the time in between macaroni and cheese, of course. Um, Josh, I love Southern food, but I can make some Russian food also. Oh, I should have brought, I should have shown my, my Russian nesting dolls that I picked up the other day. I was channeling my inner Roman the other day. And found uh, I had seen him list uh, show some Russian nesting dolls on a like a short, a YouTube short that he did. And then like the next day, I was out and I found some, and that was that was cool. So I picked them up. Haven't listed them yet, of course. Um, Easter weekend, I'll be working on my stupid taxes. A curse of the self-employed. I actually still have to do my taxes uh, myself. Roman is done with his taxes. Um, Easter. Oh, uh, wait. No, 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 no. I'm behind in the chat here. Corey just went feral when you said you were going <laughs> to color Easter eggs. Uh, yeah, I'm a festive guy. Um yeah hey that's a good plan i should wear this I should wear this maybe you know i just flop around in there uh uh well, let's see what else we got is ken is ken the cadbury bunny well i am i am filled with you know creamy goodness so you know you decide 
I never understood. I never understood why the rabbit in the Cadbury commercials like like balk like a chicken. That's probably annoying, isn't it? Um. Yeah, cutting it close with the taxes. I know. I got to get mine done as well. Just been putting it off. Usually takes me a couple days to get everything going, and so I'm gonna work on that soon. Uh yeah, Jill's taxes are her tax person is getting on her. Uh, my taxes have been done almost a month. If you keep up with your spreadsheet and use your actual tax accountant, it's super easy. Yeah, I just have to get to it. I have my own spreadsheet that I use that uh, I pulled some reports from eBay and, and other things. And once I plug it in to the to my spreadsheet, it uh, it pretty much calculates everything, and I built it so that it tells me which numbers go in which boxes on the tax form. So it's just a matter of kind of compiling a few records, and um, yeah, that's what that's what smart people do. Uh, we'll never think of the Cadbury Bunny. Yeah, you'll see that commercial, and you go, "Where am I?" Ah, Ken SSK promo. Mr. Bill, um, peas, cornbread, coleslaw, chicken and dumplings, pork pot roast, mashed potatoes, collard greens, and homemade mac and cheese. That's all, uh, as of now, that's all, man, that's a, that's a boatload of stuff to fix. Man, I bet that's, and for 20 people, you're going to be slaving in the kitchen all day. I'm going to change out of my bunny hat right now. I didn't adjust the back. It is a it is a pretty cool hat. It's a snapback, snapback adjustable. It still has the tag, so you know if I want to sell that at some point, I can do that. And looky, looky, looky. Hello, my friend. New England Betty Boop. Lisette is here. Happy Thursday, beautiful people. I really need to get to Josh's house for some lunch. I know on Friday, Josh. If I drive down, why did I see? You're in Alabama. I'm not sure how long that would take me to get there. Um. Okay, I pass on the mac and cheese. Okay, now before we get into some sort of a ruckus here on the whole mac and cheese thing, I assume that you're you are passing on the homemade mac and cheese. But if he was serving craft. Boom, you're in there, right? Because I don't know if there is there a block button. Is there a block button on here? Talking bad about mac and cheese. What's my show coming to? Mini Pearl, yeah. There's a there's a an old hee haw hee haw reference. Mini Pearl with still wearing the hat with the with the price tag on it. Oh, uh, nope. No, now are you are you noping the the homemade or the the craft or it's a lot better than craft it says josh well you know what that's why i do these reviews i'm trying to find one that actually is better than than the craft mac and cheese so far i think there's you know four four up four reviews four up four down and both both to to know um well, I'll give you I'll give you a slide right now, Raz. On uh, I won't block you because I like you, my friend. I see you in a number of different chats and always got some great input and some funny stuff. Um, give the Cheetos mac and cheese a try. I already did that once. I did that once, and uh, it didn't stand up to the test. Jill has a question here. Uh, who is the who is my favorite girlfriend? Wait, who is the favorite girlfriend you have ever had? Well, let me see here. It is. It does seem like a trap. You know, I have to. You know, I have to go with Jill. I do know the answer to that. Jill is my. The love of my life, my best friend, the person that I 
run things past the person that puts up with me, anybody that would actually put up with me for as long as we have, um, 33 years and, and, and going right now. Um, I think the key to that is we don't live in the same house. And so we are, uh, I still maintain my review was not a one-to-one -one comparison. Well, it was not. And it was good. Like I said, I ended up eating two boxes of the the Kroger brand shells and cheese. Um, the only other, uh, the only way cheese and mac uh, do is in Italian cooking. Oh, I love Italian food as well. There's really not a lot of styles of food that I that I don't like. Um, that took too long for my answer. Jill knew she was setting me up. Jill knows that my favorite, my favorite girl, did she say my favorite girlfriend named Jill or did she say my favorite overall? I think she said overall and she's so, she would still win that anyway. Uh, and there is a frizzy, probably Johnny, Johnny frizzy finds, uh, Ken looking at your total Tony Orlando record has me wondering Knock three times or tie a yellow ribbon. Both great tunes. They're both on here. Greatest hits. Man, let's look at that mug right there, man. Tony Orlando. He's a, he was a good looking dude back in the day. He's got that, you know, that big, that wind tunnel tested hairdo right there with the feather, the feathering part. Uh, you know, what about Gypsy Rose? Sweet Gypsy, say, has anybody seen my sweet Gypsy? Who's in the strawberry patch with Sally? Come on now, Candida. Thing is just chock full of hits. Chock full of hits. Good to have you here. Good to have you here, Johnny. Um, let's see. Any gorgeous redhead would do for me. So rather than into redheads, Jill, some ah, Jill's never been a redhead. She has different colorings from time to time um maybe i'll stay uh married if i move out permanently there you go that might that might work for you um uh, creamy sharp cheddar and gouda cheese sauce yummy broil with a layer of cheddar over the top see it sounds it sounds incredible it sounds great and i would love to show up you know, at your house on Friday, Good Friday, have some of that Southern style dinner. Um, yeah, okay. I said, yeah, those are those are both classic songs right there. Um, does spaghetti carbonaro? Uh, where am I seeing? Okay, I'm trying to follow over there. Does spaghetti carbonaros basically count? as mac and cheese. Sure, we'll count anything. We'll count anything here. Um, you know, technically, everything counts. I would go with that. Um, Candida equals yeast infection. We're not, we're not going to go into that part of the conversation. Uh, not the carbonaro, nor does lasagna count as mac and cheese. Well, it does have, you know, a pasta sort of a product with some cheese on it. But I'm talking the creamy goodness. And here I sit with, the, I always have a box of mac and cheese right here. But I actually sent the box that I had to uh, Meg, Lilac Cellar. Um, she had won a, I had sponsored a prize when Alicia Ink Picker was doing a, um, a live for her 1000 celebration. Um Uh, yeah, does anyone still put candy in kegs eggs for hunting? We use quarters and dollar bills these days. I, all of my nieces and nephews are starting to get a little bit older for that. I, you know, how's come there's not an adult Easter egg hunt? I would love to, I would love to still hunt Easter eggs, but growing up, my, my nieces and nephews and my, now my great nieces and nephews are, uh, getting a little bit old, but I always have an Easter egg hunt for them. And yeah, usually I put some money in it, put some candy, I put some different things, um, just technically for sure, for sure. 
Uh, what kind of stuff? There's a good question. What kind of stuff am I selling on the Whatnot show? We are doing uh, like the garage sale uh, category for this one. And we've got like just a, a hodgepodge of, of everything. We got... Um, I've got some plush. I've got some uh, small electronics. I got some sports related stuff. I got some hats. Uh, we got uh, clothing. Jill's going to do some clothing and probably some jewelry, uh, some graphic tees and some other sort of stuff. We're going to switch off and on and see who can sell things better. I'm pretty sure that that Jill's going to get, you know, top dollar out of her stuff because she's, you know, she's going to she's just going to deliver there on the sales. Um but yeah, it's just going to be uh, a bunch of stuff. I don't have the store loaded yet. That's what I'm working at this afternoon. And when Jill comes over with a few more things tomorrow morning, we are going to work on that. But it's just going to be a bunch of different stuff. And as I as I progress, though, I have enough inventory to do like an all plus show, an all sporting goods show, an all uh, all hats, all electronics, all video games, all stuff. So I'll do, you know, combination of garage sale type everything shows. I'll be, you know, a little bit more specific in certain shows. So just really super looking forward to it. Um, Jill says, Kim, I actually researched it. The writers were trying to find a Latina name that had not been used before. Uh, they should have looked further. Okay, about Candida. Okay. Um, don't think Google was around back then. Yes. And Angie is here perfectly blessed. Good morning. Good morning. Good to have you here for sure. Um, adult Easter egg hunt. Do those little liquor bottles fit in the plastic eggs? I'm pretty sure that you can you can get some that are big enough. Uh, I would hunt eggs. Um with greenbacks in them for sure. Yeah, I've done uh I've done what I've called adult piñatas before when we have a big family outing every year on Labor Day. And the kids always, you know, get to play all the fun games and stuff, and I would make custom piñatas for them. And I made um a, a few years I've done an adult piñata and that had more things that adults would be interested in, some gift cards. Uh, but yeah, I did put those little liquor bottles in them. And I would tell a couple other stories that I put in there, but we're not we're not gonna go down that road right now. Um oh, and tonight, okay, tonight is perfectly blessed, is her first whatnot show. I am doing that. Let me let me jump over here. Uh, no, I don't want to put you in timeout. I want to put you as a moderator. Angie, throw in the chat then the link to your, to your whatnot show. That'll be, that'll be cool. After the children do the standard Easter egg hunt, I then go out and hide 20 to 30 mini liquor bottles for the adults. See, Larry's got it right there. He's 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 eliminating the middleman. He's taking the eggs right out of it because, you know, the adults, they don't need to fool with the eggs. So that's pretty cool, Larry. That's fun. I like to do um do fun stuff like that for, for my family. Every everything that I do, believe it or not, everything that I do is some sort of an event. Uh, make an event out of it, make a game uh, out of it, just to have fun. Uh, and Jill is great at that too. I come up with some some sort of idea. I think it all the way through, and then I tell Jill about it, and she's going like, "Oh, hey, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this," and it and it it just gets bigger. And Jill does the same thing in her her um family as well. We do a lot of things at at Thanksgiving and and Memorial Day when we're with her family. Yeah, post your link. What time, Angie? Are you doing your, um, your whatnot show tonight? And if you see the the link pinned at the top of this chat, uh, Jill and I we are going to uh, do a whatnot show tomorrow night, and that's what you're looking for. That I'm going to put my head behind it. Oh no, it's our first show. I am going to um. So look for that, look for that, but check out Angie tonight, check out Ray, check out everybody. I'm, 
I'm excited. I'm excited to do it. I'm probably not gonna, you know, talk about whatnot constantly all the time, but uh uh I'm getting some messages. People were saying that they were gonna pop into my show. I'll have to read that a little bit later. There we go. There's the link right there in the chat. Click on that. Go see our friend Angie. Um and she has me bookmarked for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Yeah, as soon as I am done here, I will go find. Oh, you know what? I should go over here and click on this. Oh, that I, I thought I almost save and notify me. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, but I got your thing up there, and I should have bookmarked your your show as well. Finally, I've been struggling. I've been struggling for 41 minutes. Good morning, Ping. Good to see you. Um, followed and bookmarked for Angie. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I say, I'm just I'm excited about doing it. Um, I have the realistic expectations of what I can do on whatnot. Um, it, we'll just we'll see how it goes. We'll we'll see how it goes. We're just gonna have fun with it. Um got you know a few surprises in there a few things that that i that i want to try um just to you know hopefully set set some things apart from other people and and um it'll be fun it'll be fun it'll be fun that's all i got to say um oh wait we were talking about mac and cheese earlier and my friend bill over at let me see, where was it? Oh, it wasn't right there. Uh, in a box in the garage. Sent me this. Where the heck is it? There it is. He sent me this link yesterday. I'm going to, to a new snack treat. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, well, I can't, I can't get it there. Look at this though. Mac and cheese popcorn, craft mac and cheese popcorn. Plus, you can also get the the uh, Oscar Mayer bacon and cheddar popcorn, which might which might be good. I'm a big popcorn fan. Now, I make my own popcorn like on the stove. I'm not a microwave popcorn guy, and uh, I eat a ton of popcorn. But man, how good is that going to be? Mac and cheese popcorn. So I have to find where that stuff is sold. And get that. So thanks to thanks to Bill for sending out that. Um, what sport are are eggs the best at? Running. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, Ray. I'm your. You're my snack treat. <laughs> so hey for those of you that are just popping in i am uh oh wait i have this see i did prepare some stuff uh where's it at i'm gonna put that along the bottom and where's my name thing let me take that off right there uh new show time for 10 versus 10 starting next week because we're getting into yard sale season i am going to be uh, changing the show to Wednesdays at noon, and I'm going to get back into to regular listing. We've had some guests here recently. I've done some, uh, you know, some goofy stuff today. It's supposed to be, you know, ask Ken a question. Ask me anything. If you have a question you want to know about me, know about uh, anything that I have going on, you want to know something about reselling, you know, I'll pass something on about that as well. Um uh, did I try the Cheetos jalapeno mac and cheese? I have not. I tried the Cheetos four cheese, um, and it was good, but it wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't craft, but I have heard everybody else suggested the, the jalapeno mac and cheese. So I am going to put that on the list of ones to try. Um, yeah, it'll ruin your bowl. Exactly. They have all those dyes in the Cheeto brand that just stained. It stained my bowl and it took me like several washings to get it out. Um, and uh, 
so uh anyway so yeah i am i was saying i was changing the show to wednesdays at noon and going to see how that is get back to some like a listing show i don't know if you guys enjoy more me just rambling on and doing and doing silliness or if maybe some of you turned in to find some of the some of the items that I found, things that I was listing, hearing about the sales, the whole competition thing of trying to beat the uh, listings by next week, that kind of gives you, gives me anyway, a really good barometer on what is what is actually selling. That's why I enjoy uh, what sold videos uh, more than sourcing videos. Um, I watch what sold, so I watch podcasts, I watch a lot of lives. Those are the, the types of things that I like to watch. Um, so, you know, if I'm trying to beat that death pile, plus it's always exciting when you can list something and you can sell it within a few days, you know, you either you made a good pick, you, you found something, you happen to be able to find something that was really good and that you made a good decision on on something and that would sell quickly, which is why the sell through rate uh, looking stuff is important. Ken, is there a toy that you wanted in your childhood? that I never had um, a live tax filing show. A toy that I never had. You know, nothing really jumps out to me. Um, we played a lot, you know, when we were kids, we played a lot out, you know, in the yard. We had a bunch of neighborhood kids. And so we play usually ball related sports, baseball, football, uh, you know, basketball, we had a basketball hoop. Um, and then, you know, a lot of cowboys and Indians and army men and stuff like that. And you could, if you didn't have a, a plastic toy gun, you just grabbed a stick and, you know, you're dead. I got you. You didn't get me. I was behind a tree, you know, hide and seek, freeze tag, all of that stuff. So I don't, I can't think of a, a toy that I didn't have or that I would have like say ask for for a birthday or a christmas that i that i that just really that i didn't have so yeah we just we played a lot of stuff out in the yard just improvised and had fun you know say hide and seek freeze tag a live tax filing show that would be exciting just me sitting here on my spreadsheet doing my taxes um i like when you do a competition with another seller okay yeah, we have, uh, I've had uh, Chris Cajun Reseller, Dan and the Man, Roman, Vintage Sports Flips, Keith. Uh, that's always fun too. Yeah, because you get to see what other people are doing as well. We love you so, Ken. So whatever you do is fine. I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yuck. Lawn darts. Yeah, uh, I've seen it. At when I was looking at Kim's stuff yesterday, Kim's inventory, Kim's inventory, she has an old set of jarts, the yard jarts, still in the package. Uh, Stretch Armstrong, Angie, I think I don't think I had a Stretch Armstrong. Uh, yes, uh, he wishes he had a pair of football shoes without dog poop in them. <laughs> That was a story I had told on the on the podcast, the reseller clickbait podcast that I do with Corey uh, uh, from Grams and Pops. That comes out on Mondays at 11 a.m. If you're not following over there, we usually have a good time and try to talk some some reselling, maybe impart a little bit of knowledge. But uh, long story short, I stayed overnight at a friend's house, and during the middle of the night, you know, I'd taken off my shoes, of course. Uh, his dog pooped in my shoe, and then. I went out and I the next morning he just slipped into my shoes and we were out and we played football all day and I took my shoe off at the end of the day and it was just it it was a mess. It was a mess. Uh Amanda is asking, uh Angie, do you know how to share the link to your show? There uh she had put it in the chat earlier, but Angie, if you're here. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, be sure to bookmark it. Throw it in that. Throw it in the chat again. Um, and I had put one thing out on Instagram this morning. I'm going to get uh, an Instagram post and some things for for my show. Um, uh, 
And Chris is here. Chris is 1-0-1 oh, versus me. Yes, I have challenged Chris. We tied the first time. And then we had to have a rematch. And Chris uh, peppered me. Chris peppered me. Uh, I was only on top comments and not all comments. Hey, miss a comment, miss a lot. Miss a comment, miss a lot. Um, Ken, what was the first concert you went to? And what was the last concert you went to? Oh, very good question. My, the very first concert, well, we'll say one that I actually bought a ticket and, and drove to see myself. Um, because I'd went to some, you know, younger, like maybe at festivals or whatever that I didn't really count. But one that I bought a ticket to and went to was, um, Ace Fraley. Ace Fraley from the band Kiss. Um, when he put out his first solo album, not the, not the Kiss solo album, but after he had left Kiss, uh, Fraley's Comet was the name of the album. Great album, still to this day. Um, playing at a place down in, uh, in Columbus, about an hour away. And, um, uh, the band White Lion opened for, for Ace Fraley. And so that was the first concert that I remember actually buying a ticket. And I don't even know, heck, what year that was. It was probably late 80s. Late, I could drive. So, uh, anyway, so Ace, and the last, boy, the last concert I went to, Jill, do you remember going to any, how did, how do I not know? My last concert, is that what you're saying? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Was it John Brennan when we went down when we went to down to Kentucky? John Brennan from the real world. If you guys don't remember uh the real world season two, John Brennan, country singer. Uh go follow him on Instagram and Facebook. He's making a comeback, got a new album out, and we're hoping to get to visit with John. We're we're good friends. Jill is is really good friends. They they message back and forth all the time. And uh we're hoping to get to spend some time with him when we're in Nashville at the Nashville meetup as part of our plans. And there's the link for Angie's Whatnot show tonight. Resell a clickbait podcast. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for putting that in there. Uh, neurop neuropathy. How could you feel that squish? I know. I know. It's, you know, we were so excited to go play football. So many questions about the, <laughs> the boop shoe event. I know. Um, oh, first was Menudo. And my last was Mark Anthony. Um. Oh, how did I not know about the dog poop on my show? I know, I know. Raz, his first was Weird Al live concerts 35 years apart. I've seen Weird Al a couple of times. He puts on a phenomenal, an absolutely phenomenal. I will put, okay, I will put, you take all the super groups that are out there of, of bands and, and, and stuff to get together. I will put Weird Al's band up against up against any band. Those guys are so talented and can play, you know, because he parodies every different style of music. Uh, they're entertaining and fun to watch. But uh, Weird Al, actually, when we were at a concert, he was here in my town. He came and uh, he was doing a song called uh, One More Minute. And he came down into the audience when he was singing a song and he actually stopped at our row and sang a verse to Jill at the show. So, you know, how cool was that? I was a bit bummed. He didn't sing it to me, you know, cause I was a real fan. Um, yeah, I think it was John Brennan. Uh, we just became best friends, uh, with Corey. Um, yes, I, I love weird Al and got to see him, like I said, a couple of times, um, uh, Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for putting links in there. 44 show you you've seen Weird Al 44 times. That would be awesome. I actually here not too long ago was on YouTube follow uh and I come across some some Weird Al stuff and I watched 
one of the concerts from that year that we went to. Uh, it was great to have on. And, you know, he pretty much the show was the same show that we saw. Um, oh, uh, that would be awesome. Next guest on Reseller Clickbait Podcast will be Weird Al. I'd love to get Weird Al. I bet we'd probably, we'd probably be a little bit closer to get uh, John Brennan. We can maybe get John Brennan as a guest on the the podcast. Uh, see what he's up to these days. Talk about his. He does have a podcast now that if you are familiar with the show, The Real World. And uh, Beth, uh, the one, one girl that was on the show with him, Beth, they actually have a podcast that they do right now. Uh, Jill, what is the name of that? We'll go out and search for that. Um, we don't have that kind of poll, Roman. Uh, you'd have to settle for Weird Ken and, <laughs> and Weird Corey. Hey, the DOG stretches far. I bet if I contacted, you know, especially if I win on the ticket, you know, Vice President along with Dan and Demand, I'm pretty sure I could get Weird out on the show. Um, because I would still do the reseller clickbait podcast, even if I was the vice president, because, you know, why not? Um, I want to get him to autograph his uh, Peter Peter and the Wolf album next time he hits Vegas. That would be cool. Uh, 540 flips. Happy noon, everyone. Yes, it is getting to be noon. Watch this segue. Speaking of noon... Starting next week, as you see down at the bottom, that little ticker that's going, wait, I should follow it across. I can't. I don't know which way it goes. Next week, uh, the show will be moved to Wednesdays at noon uh, so that I can go out to the yard sales that will be starting. You can go out to the yard sales because I know it's always, when the show is on Thursdays and there's yard sales in your area, I know that you're torn. You're either number one, you get up really early and you try to get back by like 11 a.m. Eastern, it's like, man, I got to get back because I got to watch Ken. So see, I'm taking that burden from you. I'm taking the burden. I'm backing it up a day. And <laughs> and that's where the DOG, the delusions of grandeur come in. Um, Yeah, Jill, grab the links for, for some of John's stuff right there. Um. Corey, just tell Weird Al he'll get macaroni and cheese after the podcast. I'd, I'd send I'd send Weird Al a box out after after the show. Uh, so anyway, any more questions? Any more burning questions that you wanted to know about Ken before I you know wrap this up here in a few and head over next door to head over next door. To color Easter eggs with my family. That is always fun. Uh, what is my favorite yard game for family gatherings? Right now, as far as a game that you that that is a true like yard game, is a game called Koob K U B B. Uh, they also call it Viking Chess because uh, it was a, a, a invented like in the Scandinavian countries in the, by the Vikings years ago. Uh, and basically you're throwing wooden sticks at wooden blocks. Um, if you like to play games like uh, cornhole or horseshoes or things along those lines, go check out uh, a game called Kube, K-U-B-B. It is... Uh, if I never played another game of cornhole again, I would be okay with that. This has replaced for me the um, uh, da, 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 like playing cornhole or playing any of those other games. Just super fun time. And technically, up to 12 people could play. At, not technically, actually, 12 people could play at the same time. But usually we, we have like two on two or three on three. Uh, teams and uh, we have competitions. We have we have trophies. We have prizes because everything I do, like I said earlier, everything is an event that I do. Uh, here is a link to uh, that's John Brennan's uh, YouTube, the podcast thing that he does. I believe uh, mine is. Uh... <laughs> 
Uh, duck, duck, goose. <laughs> you guys can fill in what the the MF is for. And yes, the MF is for what you're thinking. That's a funny, uh, a funny story that I was telling Corey the other day. See, Jill, Jill gets it. I don't, you know, don't want to do inside personal stuff, but yeah, duck, duck, goose. Um. The podcast, yeah, John's podcast is Getting Real with John and Beth. Um, but they don't do it on YouTube. Oh, okay. So it's that is only an audio podcast. Yes, Mighty Farmer. Duck, duck, goose, Mighty Farmer. Exactly, Kim. <sighs> so, okay. I think we're going to get ready to wrap this up. We've been going about an hour. Man, it's it's been fun. I appreciate everybody in the chat uh coming um next week when I when I get back to the to the show. I'm going to be listing stuff, going to be having fun or maybe even get a a guest. Maybe I'll I'll look around, I'll find a guest and see who wants to um see who wants to take me on. Because my track record's not good. I've been beaten almost every time. And my cousin Susan is here. Just got to lunch. See, Susan, if I move this, if I move this to noon, you'll be able to, to jump in on a regular basis. Jill says, wait. Uh if I find Duck Duck Goose at the yard sales, at the garage sales, pick him up. Oh, I did list that. Um I think I showed last week I had that. Pin the tail, they inflatable, a Jemmy brand inflatable pin the tail on the donkey. And I have that listed. It has uh have some good watchers. I didn't have it open up to best offers yet. Uh, because I think it'll sell at the price, at the $50 price range that, that I'm looking at. Um I did have somebody contact me and ask if I would take, you know, a, a little bit less. And it was a, a reasonable offer, but I'm gonna be putting that uh on best offer soon. Um, Jill has one more question for me. Are you going to let me talk at all during the whatnot? There's Joe. I'd flip that right there. I will answer that in just a second, Jill. Oh, the chat jumped on me. Joe is here. I think Joe is, uh, part of that raid train tonight. Joe, are you doing whatnot tonight as part of the raid chain with, uh, with Ray and Angie and Kristen and, all the other folks that are there. So Jill said, am I going to let me talk at all? Well, yes. I'm sure that you will be able to, you know, say hi to everyone and address them and say, hey, you know, hi, I'm here. And, and a goodbye, you know, and a goodbye to everyone. And <laughs> no, Jill is going to be doing some of the selling, going to be pitching some of the products and, uh, it's too bad, you know, whatnot is an auction that's kind of kind of um automatic. You know, you show in the products, but you know, I just want to be up there and be like, okay, here we go. What do we got now? Who's a bitter? Where's a bitter? What are you gonna give me for it? I got a hundred dollar bid. Now let's go. Give me a buck and go for this. Uh hi, Aunt Judy and Uncle Fred. They are watching right next door. Um yeah, Joe is on. If you're not following, I'd flip that. They are on 7 p.m. Central tonight on a on a raid train. Uh, go look for Joe and his his show set up. Make sure to follow him and click on that. Um, when am I selling on whatnot? That'll pop up here in in just one second. Uh, but yeah, Jill, Jill is going to be part of the show. Uh, when when she's able to come down, we're going to be doing shows together on my channel. I'm going to be doing some individual shows. And there might be times that Jill just does a show herself because uh, she knows a lot more um, game show theme, as always, uh, for, for Joe's show. I love the game. Oh, is that, um, oh yes, that's right. Tonight is, is tonight. Okay, Joe, Joe, stop. Is tonight the night that is the game show with Jen's Multiverse 
and the person that's going to lose to her that I can't think of who it is. Um, somebody that I follow. Who was the, who's the next game show? I, I know I have it. I have it saved to watch, but I can't remember right off the top of my head. Um, <laughs> Jen's multiverse and the person that she's going to lose to. I don't, I don't remember. I shouldn't say that. I need to watch the show. Oh, that's right. Archie, Archie biscuit, Butt against Jen's multiverse. Uh, why are these comments not popping up next week? Uh, we have a crazy game show on YouTube. Uh, the, the VIP match game, April the 4th is when that is. Somehow the comment didn't come up here, Joe, but you had asked me when I was selling on whatnot. Um, tomorrow night, tomorrow night, we are doing our first show. Joe and I are going to do it together. The link is pinned at the top. So if you want to go and bookmark that here, I could probably... Let me do that. I'll change that. Check out my check out my first whatnot show tomorrow night. Jen versus RC Archie. That I can't think of a funner show. I can't think of a funner show except for anyone that I would be on, even though I lost. Even though even though I lost, um, it was just fun. And I still I constantly use my. I can never figure this out. There we go. I Joe, I'd flip that whiteboard is always on my desk. I'm always using it. Um, and usually my kazoo's right here. Where's my kazoo? I don't know where my kazoo is. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Am I going to wear that super awesome ski outfit? Super awesome ski outfit. Wolfman's goodies is here just in time. Just in time, my friend. We're getting ready to wrap it up here momentarily. But I love to have folks jump in. Um, <laughs> pose before bros. Hashtag Team Jack. Jill's already decided. She hasn't even seen... Um, See you in Tennessee next month. Yes. Super excited. About the Nashville 2020 reseller meetup. April 26th, 28th. Look at this. Nashville's newest tradition. Definitely going to do that. Shane is here. Shane has, we've been talking a lot of whatnot. Shane has a plush sale on whatnot uh, this Saturday. This Saturday, he is doing a plush show, plush, wait, plush show. Too many SHs, too many shh, 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 all at one time. Uh, so go check out, go follow Soda City Flips on whatnot as well. Um, da, 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 where are we at? Oh, the onesie. That, no, I am not going to be wearing that lime green onesie. That's still sitting on my ki kitchen counter for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, um, I'm going to wrap it up. We've been about an hour here. Um, and although I've beat it, beat it to death so far, um, looking forward to doing the whatnot show tomorrow night. The link is pinned at the top of the chat. I would appreciate, you know, if you have time and if you're there, I would appreciate it. Um, I hope I make it to the show on time because I got to make it all the way back from Alabama from having lunch, Southern style lunch with um, Bama Jaybird, Josh. Um, so I should I should make it back by 5 p.m. Hopefully. I don't know. What time is lunch, Jay? Or Josh, if you're still here. Um, anyway, check out the show. Be sure to Check me out next week on Wednesday at noon. Yes. Happy Easter, everyone. Oh, wait. Happy Easter, everyone. Enjoy enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your family. Hunt some eggs. Hunt some colored Easter eggs or some plastic eggs. Or if you're at Larry's place, you can find some little mini, uh, mini bottles of 
adult spirits, some of the little tiny like alcohol bottles. He hides those for all the adults. So pretty much soon as I leave Alabama, I, Joe, I think I'm going to have to cancel the show because I got too much traveling to do. I'm going to be going to Alabama Friday and then Saturday. Oh, wait, I'll be back on Saturday. And Sunday, I'm going over towards St. Louis area to Larry's house to um, hunt some Easter egg, some little liquor bottles. So that's all I got. That's all I got. Um, have Shane's bookmarked as well. Very good. Very good. Uh, if, if our community don't support our community, and I wouldn't even say our community, our friends. If friends don't support friends, you know, what do you got there? Um, so, haha, <laughs> Ken said never. Anyway, I'm done. I'm Now I'm just rambling. Now I'm just rambling. Just remember, demand promo ticket 2024. Everybody have a great week, a great weekend, a great Easter Enjoy your time, and I will see you hopefully Friday night, if not next Wednesday.